Hello, in this video we will look at the different layer types that we are using. Um, so when you uh, look at this top part here, you will see we've got four layers, two of which are um, health layers, one being a moisture layer and a third one being a clouds layer. So I'm briefly just going to touch on each of these layers um, and I'll go into more detail in some of the next videos. Um, so first of all, let's quickly focus on these two health layers. So the reason why we have an early and a late health is to enable you to spot variations early in the season and late in the season a lot better. So you will see that early in the season when your crops are still small, um, sometimes it could be a little bit difficult to spot the variations. Now what this um, early health allows you to do is to see those uh, variations a lot easier. So you will see on this per um, pivot point here um, that uh, there are some variation. This crop um, has been planted uh, earlier than this one over here. So um, this specific one you will see it's maxing out. It's just completely green um, and I'll just uh, quickly um, show you what that would look like if you actually see it here. So if you click on let health, you will see that you see a very similar variations um, than what you would see on the early health. So, so the way you would use these two is to determine where in the crop cycle um, your crops are. Um, and then if, so if it's early on in the season, you will use the early health. And if it's later on in the season, you will use the late health. Um, so, so um, these two health layers are NDVI. You might have heard of NDVI. It uh, stands, stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. Um, and I go into more detail in um, some of the other videos. Um, so that's just quickly on the um, health layers that we use. The second layer that we use is uh, the moisture layer. Um, the more scientific name for it is ND. MI or normalized difference moisture index and uh, in, es in essence what this uh, tells you is just how much moisture content is in both the um, uh, soil and or the, the top layer of the soil and the crops. Um, then lastly the clouds layer is actually in what you would call an RGB or a red green blue layer that's uh, in essence just a visible spectrum layer so it's very similar to what you would see in the background here. So this is Google Maps um, in the background. Um, so it's very similar to Google Maps, um, except that it's a lot more uh, updated. So you see this is from the 4th of Feb, and this could be uh, months or even years old, this uh, Google Maps layer in the background. Um, so, uh, th so the RGB layer is quite helpful to uh, see variations as well. Um, it doesn't always show you the same amount of information that um, a health and a moisture layer would, but it does give you some kind of information. 